Whether you're spending a weekend at the family's lakefront cottage or floating the river with friends, you'll need a quality boat. In this video, we will present you the top six best inflatable boats on the market today. So if you want to know what inflatable boat will work for you, stay tuned. If you want to find out prices and more information about these inflatable boats, you can check out the links down in the description and comment section below. Now let's get into the video. First on the list we have Intex Excursion 5 Inflatable Boat. Intex makes the Excursion 5 ready out of the box to support a crew of up to five people. With enough space for tons of gear, beer, and all the required daily goodies, there's a lot to like. The boat comes with four fishing rod holders on each side of the boat. These are placed next to bench seating that faces inward for conversation or spending time together whenever you're landing a fish or drifting the lake. The Intex inflatable boat is made of three inflatable chambers which independently hold air. No need to worry about having your boat pop and sink to the bottom like the Titanic. Of course, with an inflatable boat, you need some way to pump it up. That's why there's an included high pressure manually operated pump. There are aftermarket electric pumps, but with the stock Intex pump, you'll be pumping by hand. While there are motor mount fittings included with the boat, some users worry that this PVC boat just isn't quite sturdy enough to handle a motor. This may not be the cheapest inflatable boat you can get, but it's pretty close. By the way, if there's another product you'd like us to review, go ahead and put it in the comments section below and we will make that happen. Next on the list we have the Intex Mariner 4-Person Inflatable Boat. For the price, it's pretty hard to argue with this inflatable boat that has room for plenty of people, gear and mounted equipment. Overall, I think it's a slight improvement over the Excursion 5 as it features rugged and durable three-ply construction and a slightly smaller frame. With a reduced footprint, the boat is able to hold more solidly in form and function. I love that they prominently feature the reinforced rock and abrasion guard around the inflatable hull. This is an area of significantly increased durability where the boat is made to handle bumps, scrapes and scratches. This four-person inflatable boat features two rod holders for fishing, two rotating oar locks, a battery, and gear pouches. It's outfitted and engineered to handle a small transom trolling motor, which mounts up to pre-installed holes on the exterior of the inflatable boat. And because of the lightweight nature of the boat and relatively short frame, it makes a great candidate for a small electric trolling motor. Overall, if you want a boat that can float with a group of people or take you and your friends fishing for the evening, this is the best inflatable boat for the money that can wear all the hats. If this is your first time on this channel and you like this video, we do all kinds of videos like this for all kinds of different products, all aimed at providing you the selection of the best products, making your decision easier. So if you don't want to miss anything, please consider subscribing. Next on the list, we have Airhead's Angler Bay six-person inflatable boat. With a six-person capacity, you'd think this inflatable boat would hulk like a behemoth. Nothing could be further from the truth. However, this olive and yellow boat is ready to handle fishing, paddling, or floating with any number of people. I love that they include several rotating oar locks so that people in the middle or rear of the boat can paddle. Grab two sets of oars if you want to paddle faster. Plus, there are two mounted rod holders ready to go when you want to land a nice game fish. There are plenty of drink holders sprinkled around the boat and four separate drain plugs to dry out the boat when you pull it up for the night. I like that the movable seat can be adjusted around the boat. That helps get it in the right spot so you can put a transom trolling motor in the back and paddle from the front set of oar locks. Of course, if you want to leave room for fishing tackle and space for kids to cast their lines without hooking you in the back swing, don't pack the boat too full. Next on the list we have Classic Accessories Inflatable Pontoon Boat. This nine foot long inflatable pontoon boat is made to outperform all the boats on our list when it comes to load bearing, motor mounting, fish slaying fun. There's no mistake that the cataract design with these two inflatable tubes and a suspended seat and decking is agile and capable of bearing amazing loads. While you might not want to hook up the old two stroke outboard, this cataract is ready to take on a trolling motor. Two oar locks hold the included paddles in place and can be adjusted in three separate positions. That goes along with the two-position adjustable motor mount and the super durable seat. The boat itself weighs in at a moderate 71 pounds, but it can handle up to 440 pounds of capacity. There is plenty of rear storage for both the trolling motor battery and your fishing tackle. I personally love the armrests, which are not well placed, but they feature additional storage. These are the perfect place for your soft-sided tackle boxes. There's also a detachable foam fly holder. 
Because the body of his raft is solid and features many components made from steel or aluminum, it won't pack down as well as some of the other boats, so it's not recommended for carrying in a car or frequent transportation. But if you're storing this boat at the beach house and won't need to pack it up, it could be a top contender for the best inflatable fishing boat. We would like to hear which of these products you like the most and why so. Please put that in the comments section below. Next on the list we have the Shark Inflatable Dinghy 9.8. This inflatable boat is made to handle smaller loads with a focus on the ability to handle higher output motors. This time, we can plug in a motor up to 15 horsepower. With a 15 horse motor on this lightweight 70 pound boat, you'll be flying out to your favorite fishing spot each morning. Like most dinghy type inflatable boats, there is minimal storage when compared to the raft style boats for five to six people, like the Intex boats mentioned earlier. However, you gain significant improvements in rigidity and capacity. With nearly 1,200 pounds of max load and welded 1,100 denier PVC construction, this boat will hold just about anything. I like the removable seat bag and cushion. It makes it easy to add a little extra storage for taking another person in the boat or zipping across the lake for a dinner picnic. When there's just one person in the boat, however, you can easily remove the seat and gain tons of storage space for tackle and gear. The seats on the boat are made from aluminum and lend to a much more traditional feel style compared to the inflatable rafts. I like the solid aluminum floor and included oars with oar locks. However, these heavier and more sturdy features make the boat harder to pack. You might not want to have to break down this boat every day. To finish our list, we have the Newport Vessels Dana Inflatable Sport Dinghy. Newport is bringing us the last boat on our list, which is another addition to the dinghy class of boats. Like the inflatable sports boat Shark 9.8, the Dania dinghy is made from advanced tough materials and supports tons of load, options and power. There are a few differences though. This Newport boat comes in quite a bit cheaper than the inflatable sports boat Sharks 9.8. For that cheaper price, same sturdy 1100 denier construction, aluminum floor and decking and aluminum seats. However, you lose the ability to handle some horsepower. This boat is rated for a maximum of 10 horsepower versus the inflatable sport boat's Shark 9.8, which can handle 15. If that sounds trivial, then perhaps the cheaper price and lower motor output is a good choice for you. But when you consider that the 15 horsepower is 150% more power and speed than a 10 horsepower motor, you may want to spring for the extra expensive boat. In general, they offer most of the same competitive features. Users with tighter budgets will probably prefer the cost savings of the Newport Vessels Dinghy. The Newport Vessels Dinghy is one of the best sellers on Amazon in its category, and we have put a link to that product in the description section below so you can check it out. That would be all for this video. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. And if you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. And if you are interested in finding the best prices of the products mentioned in the video, be sure to check the links in the description and comment section below.